so uh, I do desperately want to thank Tim and Neve um, and the whole of Hospital Rooms because they are absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, and I do count myself as being very lucky for uh, uh, working at Norwich School of Art and Design or Norwich University of Arts, sorry, there you go. I think it's an, it's an art school. Um, but I, and, and I know that some of the students uh, that I teach uh, have um, enrolled on this uh, webinar as well. So I want to thank them uh, for their interest. It's quite fascinating how students are becoming very concerned with um, uh, the, the possibility for art and creativity to become part of a sort of a reconstruction um, of all of the problems that we've got in society. So I find that very fascinating. Okay, so when I was first asked um, uh, by Tim and Neve if I would be interested in um, working on the Northside House project, I was working on this series of works. So we're going back to 2018, 2019. Um, these are paintings that have geometric forms uh, and structures in them um, that um, that seem quite random but might have associations rather maybe worrying associations of gaseous particles and um, and and kind of uh, uh, substances that uh, uh, that we could associate with the pandemic although these were all produced before that time um so like everyone uh come march i, I was had in my mind the north north side house projects and come march um i found myself walking for one hour across a field um, that started off being quite stubbly. Uh, and so my mind, I don't think I was thinking about art at all at this point, um, but what I kept finding in this field with these little um, tubes uh, that I seem to remember finding as a child and thinking they were, they were small bones um, until I realized that they were clay pipes. Uh, so on the right hand side there, you can see the sorts of things I was doing. So sort of March, April, May, uh, just assembling these found objects so when I was able to get back into the studio in August and I was thinking about the Northside House project, this is the first thing that I'll be working on, hopefully. Um, I, uh, I, was, I didn't know where to start. I don't know if other people felt that way, but uh, the studio felt strangely cold to me. I really didn't know where to pick things up. So I was making these little drawings and paintings and I, they were fine, but I felt they were really tight. Um, so uh, I... I did what I would be telling students to do, to throw it all up in the air, uh, start getting active, start doing something that you feel maybe uncomfortable with or makes you laugh. Um, the, the piece that I made on the right hand side there, that made me laugh. When I nearly fell off the chair taking the photograph, that nearly made me cry. Um, uh, then I cut the whole thing up um, and um, felt a little bit better about what I was doing, um, although I didn't quite know what it was. You can see the top there, the. Um, the, the first post lockdown watercolors that I did uh, that I've just left, they're, they're fine. I'm not gonna do anything with them. I'm not gonna cut them up. Um, but making this big collage piece um, sort of set me off thinking, yes, I've been interested in collage for so long. Um, I love the work of Hannah Hock, of Romari Beard and of John Stizaka. Um, so let's go with that. So these are photographs um, of the workshop. Uh, now, when I, when I did the Woodlands project, I found it particularly useful to, to kind of to gain some of the insight that um, service users uh, had from their experience. And I really, I'm quite eager that this project ties in, in um, uh, very directly with the experience of uh, service users. Um, so the, uh, the collage workshop uh, was a, a perfect way of, um, of gaining that. There you can see some of the, um, the croissants and fruit that um, I'm sure got collaged up as well as the, uh, the magazines. Um, but some absolutely wonderful things come out of this. Uh, so, you know, uh, some, some of the people here are, uh, they are, they could go to art school, quite frankly, they, they are, there are artists um, and others would profess to have not an artistic bone in their body and yet they somehow engaged and made the most amazing things. Um, we, uh, we used a, a tearing and, uh, and a, a process and a strange process of using a, a very dry ballpoint pen to, to draw and trace round objects so that we could tear them out and the results were quite astonishing. Um, and you can see on the left hand side here an image that, um, that's, that somebody made that is very, very organized and on the right hand side very, very organized as well. So these were um, qu quite sort of uh, technically accomplished pieces. Um, and the thing that stuck in my mind here uh, was um, was this piece of work that uh, that contains the text "Be Unique." I'm, I'm sure quite deliberately um, spelt in that way. 
Um, so you know, I came away from the workshop um, being very inspired by the flex and intuition and freedom that there was, the energy that there was in that. And so no way was I going to go back to some sort of tight watercolours and drawings. Uh, so I set about um, I set about using collage in the studios. That's the first thing that I did when I went back. Uh, I used a sort of a Olupu type approach to going to Oxfam and getting some cheap books. Uh, there was absolutely no decision making in it. They were just um, randomly picked. Um, I I really know nothing about football. I managed to pick a book about football, so uh, that was a joy to cut up. Um, but you can see a variety of other things. Um, uh, and so that, that's what I started with the process of collage. Uh, and then I began to realize that it, what, what was fascinating me was the, the emptiness, the, uh, the, the missing shape, which is uh, hence the word lacuna, um, and this notion of something that is missing, a trace of cutting, of shuffling, of reassembling and gaps and overlaps. Um, I like the idea of placing objects on objects as well in artwork. So just uh, uh, here's a, an earlier work, which is called Translation After Christiana Baumgartner, which uh, has a, a work from the collection placed over a, a wallpapered surface of um, a woodcut made in the style of Christiana Baumgartner. Um, and here's some screen prints made with um, corn starch um, and um, corn carbon um, uh, screen printing ink propped up with sticks. Uh, a previous work that I did for hospital rooms was at, um, the, for the tribunal room at uh, Woodlands. Um, and here I'm using that pasting over the top or placing a piece of artwork over the top, um, in this case, uh, uh, over the top of text. So um, I took these images, uh, um, photographed them and translated them into what are called transparent positives um, that uh, were placed onto screen, silk screen, um, to be silk screen printed onto plywood panels. So you can see part of the process here. Um, and um, th this is the result. So there, there's a combination of uh, painting with acrylic paint and screen printing the imagery. So this is all derived from the collages. Um, and the idea um, or the proposal was that, uh, that the work would be uh, a combination of wall painted text. So I've taken the word B here from B Unique um, and then these panels would be placed over the top um, using security fixings. So there's an element of scattered, um, of dislocated uh, objects and images, um, a sort of dialogue and a, a, and a, and a, a, a game almost of translation. Um, but uh, rather than being paper, these will be the wooden panels. Uh, I've continued playing around with the idea on paper, and so hopefully this will still be part of the exhibition that Tim mentioned, um, uh, when we can get a, a real gallery space rather than our virtual gallery space. Uh, so this informality and overlapping is probably going to be impossible with the plywood panels when we get to Northside House. Um, but, uh, but I think that it will still create this, uh, this kind of curious dialogue um, in an undidactic kind of way. And I really like the fact that, uh, that the, the final position of this work is going to be um, next to the television um, screen and sitting area. Um, I rather hope that it will create more of a di diversion and dis distraction than your own reflection in the thick perspex that's in front of the television screen. Okay, thank you.